All right, so we're here with my mother. Mom, I appreciate you coming down every single day. It's a great way for us to spend time. As you know, I'm super busy, so I love that you come to me, even if it's me coaching you, but the transition and the, the inspiration that you provide to a lot of members, especially when you're ultra lean, is fantastic. And what I like now is that you're restarting, but it's not that technically a restart, right? Like you're not starting from the beginning. Mindset, body muscle memory is all still there. So the results are gonna happen a lot quicker than when you started, but it shows people that, hey, like even if times get busy, times get tough and you have to take a little bit of time off, there's no better way to get back at it than just to get back at it. So today I asked you to tell my audience some words of advice so that they can get back on track, maybe quit a few bad habits and they continue to grow happiness in their life. So mom, let me ask you this. What are the key to longevity and fitness success? Uh, well, having good genes for one thing, looking after yourself, eating properly, getting your vitamins and uh, minerals and uh, exercise, yes, for sure exercise and um, yeah just uh, being happy making sure that your mind is in a good um, a happy place so what kind of vitamins and minerals are we talking about well vitamin d3 for sure vitamin c um, zinc um, just multivitamins and minerals and why do you take the multivitamins uh, well, because we live in Canada and we don't get the sunshine and the uh, the sunshine that we should uh, anymore. And uh, yeah, they help your mind to stay healthy. Uh, so you mentioned about being happy, being positive as one of the keys to success. So how does somebody create that even though their mind and body is telling them differently? Well, a lot has to do with prayer. You have to have a lot of faith and you have to uh, approach uh, the belief and faith is the best way to be happy. Are there things that you do throughout your day that create happiness? Is there anything in particular such as working out or anything else? So you yes. mentioned prayer. For sure, well, prayer first thing in the morning, giving thanks for what uh, our blessings and especially coming and working out. I found when I could, didn't come, uh, in, wasn't able to come in the mid morning, especially to work out, I was, I was very depressed. I was unhappy, uh, even though I try to be happy with in prayer, but it all adds up to being, yes, to being a happy mind, happy body, and uh, family too. The love of your family is very important also. So you've been in the fitness industry, you've been working out for many decades. What are some of the ups and downs that you've faced with working out? And then what did you do for you to get back into it? <sighs> well, well, I quit smoking for one thing, so that puts on pounds. Uh, but um, yeah, I, I never had um, problems with coming and working out. I, the mindset was good. Yes, at first it was your muscles feel heavy when you just, after coming from, you know, like 109 pounds. And then when I came back, I was like uh, 132 or something like that. Your muscles do feel very heavy, but um, I found in a couple of weeks, I was starting to feel my stomach and digestive was starting to improve. And I, uh, my water intake was improving. And yes, and then my mind started getting happier and I had a more positive uh, outlook on life. So anybody thinking that you have to be perfect in order to work out, meaning that your nutrition has to be on point, that you have to be working out consistently, meaning that your whole life has to be perfect in alignment. Would you tell, what would you tell those people that, with, that have that mindset that everything has to be perfect before they start their routine? Uh, no, you have to start somewhere and the best place to start is by just coming and making, moving and, and starting to drink more water. Um, and after a couple of weeks, you'll start feeling lighter. You won't feel so heavy. Drinking the water, 
how much water you drink and what difference do you notice when you don't drink enough water versus drinking enough water. So how much do you drink and what are the differences between not drinking enough and drinking? Well, you're, I found my lungs were the worst that, that pay for it when you don't drink enough water. You just can't breathe uh, as easily and your heart also, it doesn't pump as, as nicely as if you're dehydrating. Your skin doesn't look as nice. Um, you, you'll get a dull look in your eyes. <laughs> so yes, starting to drink water and clean water. It can't be tap water. It has to be like clean water. Tap water just doesn't cut it. You said that you've been you've quit smoking so congratulations thank you how long have you been cigarette free and how did you start the process of not smoking anymore well that all came with uh, well when I had to give up my cats I I needed um, that was the worst morning moment in my life and I knew I had to do become more faithful and so I um, and being clean is one way too <laughs> is is one way too uh, I wanted to make sure that my my cats were taken care of and and it's been uh, six months almost nice. and it was all I, I have to have I have to give Jehovah credit for taking the smoking away from me because I didn't have any problems. I never I did have little cravings, but they were yeah, it was all in faith, faith. So what are the differences that you notice physically and maybe even mentally between when you were smoking and not smoking? Bother me that you know I had that habit. It was a, a monkey on my back kind of thing and you have those cravings that you just you just want to go to that craving you don't think about anything else and i don't know I, I i just don't think about it anymore it's not part of my life and i'm so glad that it's gone is it too late for anybody to start to start no i don't think so uh like movement uh yeah, just, I don't know, just come and try it, you could, but do it slowly. You'd come once and then come twice, come three times. And yeah, you'll, you'll see, it'll all come together for you. You took a little bit of time off with the move, just life stuff happened. And you said that you're 109 and then you rebounded back up to 139. That happens to a lot of people in this fitness industry, like people that are working out. And a lot of people just think, you know, they have to get back to where they were before they start again. But a lot of times that never happens. And so they never restart. So what would you tell to somebody that was, hey, maybe they were doing awesome and something happened. And then they had to restart, you know, from where they maybe began. What recommendation or what words of advice would you give to them? Uh, well, restart i i would just say restart like i did like like i um you you won't be sorry because then your life like i was happy before when i had my routine down and yeah so now i've got a routine again and i'm happy with with working out because it really gives you a good feeling inside your the pit of your stomach that to work out and to do these routines and uh, if you want to battle depression, loneliness, uh, yes, come and, come and work out here at Fit Club and you won't be sorry. So it sounds like one of the keys to success that you didn't mention, but now I've mentioned, is having a routine. Yes. Once you get into that routine, you then can predict your days, uh, you're starting to create better habits, and next thing you know, a habit just becomes a daily routine. Yes, yeah. And your day won't be the same if you don't do your routine. Just like brushing your teeth every day. It's same as working out. Come here and work out and then go about your day. All right, thank you, Mom. That was very inspirational. I appreciate you very much. Everybody, be like her. Just get up, get into a routine, get your day going right, create that happiness that you're looking for, 
and build that ultimate routine. And we'll see you on the blue.